This video will demonstrate how to process a call in order processing scenario using cloud application integration. Order processing involves placing an order, which will generate an order ID. Once an order ID is generated and communicated to the user, the user can update or cancel the order using this order ID. At any point, including the time when the order payment is in progress, the user can check the status of the order. Log on to the Informatica Cloud Platform and click the Application Integration Service from the list of available services. First, we will go over the design of this process. We'll call this process as Order Processor. The process properties have the following tabs. The general tab shows the name of the process, which is Order Processor in this example. The Start tab displays the web service details. This is a REST-based process. Anonymous access is provided and it runs on cloud server. The input fields are item name and count. The output field is the order ID, which is a unique ID generated for an order. There are no temporary fields for this process. Messages define inline sub processes that have their own input output fields and can set up correlation with the parent process. Here you can see we have defined three messages check order status, cancel order, and update order. When you are updating an order, you will need the item count along with the order ID, whereas when you want to cancel or check the order status, the order ID is sufficient. The next step is to generate a unique identifier and assign to the order ID, which would be sent back to the user for future interactions. We will generate the unique identifier by using the process ID as an example and assign it to the order ID. In this step, the process returns the order ID to the user. In this step, the order processing is initiated. This step can handle three interactions which is achieved through messages that we defined for this process, namely, check order status, update order, and cancel order. This will create three paths. Cancel order is an interruptive call. If there is a request to cancel the order, the order ID is communicated. The outcome is simulated through the assignment step, assignment to order status. The order status is set to order cancelled and the process exits. Update order is a non-interruptive call. If the user wishes to update the order, the updated values along with the order ID are communicated. The outcome is simulated through the assignment step, assignment to order status, and order status is set to order updated. Check order status is a non-interruptive call. If the user wishes to check the order status, the order ID is communicated. The outcome is simulated through the assignment step, assignment to order status, and order status is set to processing payment. The process order step expects the messages in 30 seconds. We have simulated this through a sub-process call which has a wait step configured for 30 seconds. After this duration, execution goes back to the parent process. In this step, the order procurement is initiated. This step can handle one interaction which is achieved through check order status message that we defined for this process. Check order status is a non-interruptive call. To check the order status, communicate the order ID. The outcome is simulated through the assignment step, assignment to order status. An order status is set to processed payment, procurement in progress. The order processor procurement step expects the messages in 30 seconds. We have simulated this through a sub-process call which has a wait step configured for 30 seconds. After this duration, execution goes back to the parent process.
This is all about the design of the process. Save and publish this process. This is a REST-based process and can be invoked by any REST-based client like browser. Go to properties to get more details on invoking this process. We'll first look at the Swagger file. This service shows four different operations. Order processor, cancel order, check order status, and update order. We will demonstrate all operations. Please note that when you start the order processing, you must invoke the other three operations within 30 seconds, especially for the cancel and update orders that will happen within the first 30 seconds of the order processing, and then call the check order status in the next 30 seconds while procurement is in progress. Create the order by providing required inputs like item name and item count. This will return an order ID. Please make a note of this order ID as we will use it for subsequent operations. Check the order status by using the order ID obtained in the create order operation. The order status shows processing payment. Update the order by using the order ID obtained in the create order operation and the updated count. The order status shows the order has been updated. Cancel the order by using the order ID obtained in the create order operation. The order status shows order cancelled. You should be able to see the process execution under cloud processes. We see that the order was created and later initiated the process payment. This eventually faulted because we cancelled the order. To debug further, we'll go to the detailed view. It shows a pictorial representation of the process execution. You can also see the field status at any point in time. For example, when we created the order, we created with item name as foo and count as two. You can also use advanced view for detailed debugging.